What's up, family? Today I got some uh, Black Ops 3 gameplay. I like story time, so I'm gonna give you story time. Okay, first off, this video is going to get a little personal, so if you leave, I don't blame you. I've always thought of myself as a waste, but then I think everything happens for a reason. But what is that reason? I'm nowhere near religious, but I'm not atheist at the same time. I do believe there's a God, but I'm not blessed for anything I have. I'm blessed for life, that's it. I'm lucky and fortunate to have everything I have. Sorry, I just wanted to get that out. I just want to get my beliefs out of the way. All right, start off with day one. I was born June seventeenth, two thousand. I'm currently sixteen. If you can't math. Born in Dearborn County Hospital, in Indiana. I live. I lived in a small town called Milan, named after the Italian city Milan. The town had a population of less than two thousand people. I lived in a two-house townhouse with thousands of thousands of acres of corn and a train track in my backyard. <laughs> I was nowhere near born in a family with a lot of money. As a little five or four or five year old, you don't know negative energy. Not like I do now. When I thought everything was perfect, I thought I lived in a basic American family home. I was wrong. Things were, least to say, very bitter. I'm not going to go in deep in detail. Sadly, there's some things you can't talk about because it's so hard to tell yourself. You know the whole story, but when you do, it's harder to put in words. I moved to an apartment complex when I was six. Kindergarten year, the year I got my first kiss by a very weird but very cute girl, Olivia. Maybe it was Faith. I, I can't remember. Guys, don't forget your girlfriend's names because they will soon be your ex-girlfriend. I was in advanced kindergarten class. <laughs> it was literally the same thing, just a full day and less playtime. That was literally it. That's when I figured out that nothing was perfect. I put I put I put into perspe perspective that I why I was bullied. I was missing four of my fingers on my left hand, and that's that was it. It haunts me to this day. We were only in Center Grove for one year. We moved to a beautiful house. At, at least at the time, I thought it was beautiful. I was there for four years. First grade, I was so shy because I suffered the fear of being bullied by by my hand wasn't the same as anyone that did not make any sense okay you know what I'm going to just continue on because I'm not very good at editing <laughs> the first grade I was so shy because I suffered the fear of being bullied because of my hand something so stupid as that bullying is literally retarded like if you feel the need to do so you're a piece of shit and you need to fuck off and drink some Clorox it's a new flavor of bleach Second grade, normal year so far, I got out of my shell, I was able to talk, I was able to be myself, my outgoing self. Third grade year came along, the worst thing that happened to me related to my hand. Someone told me to kill myself over my fucking hand. It ate at me, his dumb ass decided to tell other people, and I got his ass written up. As a third grader, that was some serious shit right there, like, you were a fucking hardcore rebel, like, shit. He had to apologize to me as he stood there reading me a 10-page apology note. I heard nothing but static and voices in my head. No, I am not psychotic. I felt as I was looking into the devil's eyes as he lies and tells me he's sorry. You can't be sorry for a sin that you could have avoided. I don't know why at the time I wanted to kill him, which is fucking irrational as fuck. I, I mean, I'm, I, I would never kill someone over that kind of stupid shit. The fourth, fourth grade year happened, wow, honestly, no exaggeration, the worst feeling I've ever felt. You might as well stab me or shoot me a hundred times. It wouldn't be as bad as bad news. My parents called me and my brother downstairs. I thought as any as another is another family powwow, but it wasn't quite the same as the others. We're getting a divorce, my parents told me. They don't love each other, like... That is, like, the most hardest thing to comprehend as a 9 or 10 year old. Like, if you're young like that, it's mind-boggling how that works. I don't know. Nowadays, it makes complete sense, but when you're that age, it's bewildering. And all, but, but nowadays, all I know is I'm very careful do I want to be with. I can't put my future kids through that. To some, this is minor, and you may be waiting for the juicy ship. Well, I'm sorry. My life isn't so eventful. It's not full of rainbows and unicorns, sadly. But anyways, I'm going to skip to the, some depressing shit and fast forward to when I moved to Franklin Central. 
fifth grade, we moved to a condo, which I lived in until eighth grade, so three years if you still can't do math. We had to move because my mom couldn't afford to pay for the house and our car. I went to Thompson Crossing, which was an elementary school. I joined the student council like the nerdy self I am. For once, I felt good. I felt great. I felt like I meant something. That's how I met Tommy Hodges. Funny as hell. Sadly, we don't talk anymore. Hell, we don't talk at all. I don't even know where the hell he is. At first, I felt so out of place, but then I quickly gained the liking of a lot of people. Some people know me since fifth grade. Shout out to you guys, even though you're probably not watching. But if you are, shout out to you. But whatever the fuck, middle school went by. Nothing important. But high school came by. Freshman year, first part was like middle school. But something weird happened. I finally thought to myself, and I thought I figured myself out. I went to the <laughs> emo phase, a irrational point in my life. Goth is a lifestyle, and I am not goth. Emo is an irrational, made up thing. It is just a part in time in life where you feel useless, but in reality, it is irrational. I changed my music type to punk. I dressed in primarily black. No piercings or makeup, any, anything like that. I'm not gothic, nor emo. Sophomore year, current year, I changed again for the good. But still need some time figuring out who I want to be. I changed a lot more than just music. I finally became not emo <laughs> in myself. Quiet at times, just sneaking. That's all I do when I'm quiet, just think. I started working out. I started running over a mile every day in hopes to get bet a better body, which I'm getting places, but maybe not as quickly as I'd like. But it takes time. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I've been posting pictures and talk a lot about positivity because I've learned one thing in 16 years. It's that everything happens for a reason. And whatever happens, you must be positive or you will fail. I promise you. If you have made it this far, I sincerely thank you to the bottom of my heart. It means a lot. I will be I will be uploading soon, so stay tuned. I don't want to bug you by telling you to leave a like and subscribe, so do if you wish. But if you enjoyed, leave a like. <laughs> Kinda hypocritical, but as usual, thanks so much for watching. Washing. Thank you for washing my dishes. <laughs> have a fantastical glittered covered day. Don't. Then just have a good day. It doesn't have to be covered in glitter. That's weird. Oh, I'm gonna cut the audio because I'm really bad at this. Search and destroy. I'll call them, you brawl them. Brawl them? I'm gonna blow them all to hell. Protect the objective. Switching sides. 